Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can send telegram messages to WhatsApp automatically or syncing telegram messages with WhatsApp. As it is known that telegram and WhatsApp doesn't have direct connection. That's why we are going to integrate both of these application with the help of an integration software that is Pabli Connect. So that whenever a new message will arrive on telegram, Pabli Connect will automatically send the message on WhatsApp at the same time. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any, any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with the process. Okay, so this is my Telegram account and this is my WhatsApp here. I'll be receiving the same message that I'm going to receive on Telegram. Okay, so this is the group that is CSIR Net Notes Online. Okay, so here, suppose this is a group on Telegram and I get notes from it and they are updating all details about this exam in same group. So what I want to do, I want to receive this group's message on WhatsApp too. Now let's have a look how we will do this. So here I'm going to type just a random message about the CSIR net exam. Okay, so yes, I've already copied it. That's why I'm directly pasting it. Okay, so this is kind of some important topics of CSIR notes. And here I'm going to just mention it about IMP topics. Okay. And I'm going to do this and okay. So yeah, I'm going to send this message and we'll see on WhatsApp too. Okay, so I'm going to send it. Okay. And here on the WhatsApp, I'm going to check whether I have received that message or not. Okay. Okay, so here we have received that is IMP topics and all the same message that we received on Telegram. Okay, now I would like to mention that I have used chat API to send WhatsApp messages. Okay, and which is a third party application. I will add the link in the description box about the setup and installation of chat API. And two major important things about chat API is that first, it is a paid software and second, Public Connect doesn't own it. So to begin the process, let's type pabli.com in the new tabs browser. That is p-a-b-b-l-y dot com. That is pabli.com. Press enter. Okay, this is the site of pabli. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. Wonderful. Now, this is the landing page of pabli connect. Here you have to click on sign in. As I have already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also create your free account just in two minutes. So click on sign in. Okay, so this is my account and here I'm going to click on connect access now. This one. Okay, that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button. Just click on it and here you have to name your workflow. In my workflow or in my use case, I'm using the name as Telegram to WhatsApp. Okay, so click on create and this is the name of your workflow. Here I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so here whenever you click on create, these two windows will appear. This window is known as trigger window and this window is known as action window. This is a trigger and this is an action. You might be thinking what is this trigger or action. So let me tell you, whenever we talk about automation, it works on the concept of triggers and action. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Suppose in this particular use case, whenever a new message will arrive on Telegram will be a trigger and send the same message on WhatsApp too at the same time will be action of this process. Okay, so that's how the whole process is going to be. Now here one more thing that how we can connect or how will we connect. Firstly, we will connect our trigger application with Pabli, that means Telegram to Pabli, and then Pabli with chat API in order to send WhatsApp messages. 
as we can't directly send whatsapp messages that's why we are using a third party application that is chat api which is a paid software okay so here i'm going to choose a trigger application that is telegram telegram works on the bot that is telegram bot okay so here in the trigger event i'm going to choose it as set webhook or watch updates wonderful now in order to connect pably with telegram bot we have to click on this connect button okay here we have to enter the token now which token let me just tell you for to get the token we have to follow these steps okay these all steps so for that i'm going to back to this telegram web and here i'm going to search for bot father so here bot father okay so bot father okay this one so here in the bot father what we have what we have to do we have to connect and we have to first create a new bot then we have to give it a name then we have to give it a username and then we have to make that username as an admin of that particular group okay then only you will be able to get the messages and will be able to connect pably okay so here what we are going to do we are going to create a new bot for that we have to click we have to write it as new bot over here okay so just enter it okay i'll write a new bot how we are going to call it please choose a name for it so we are choosing a name for it it is beb123 okay so yeah press enter okay now let's choose username so we have to choose a username and make sure that your username should be unique because sometime it shows it as this username is already taken so try another and this requires a lot of time so make sure you should choose a username that is unique and some kind of different okay so here and one more thing that you have to add the suffix as bot okay in this manner in this manner or in this manner so yes i'm using it as first we have to check whether it is available or not okay so yeah here i'm going to send it okay so we are lucky that we got the token in the first time okay so here this is the particular token that we have to enter here okay now as i have already told you that we have to make this username as admin just click on it and start and you have to make this username as admin you can make admin from your mobile or telegram desktop as i'm using web telegram that's why i couldn't make this user as username as a admin that's why i'm going to use my previous credentials okay so that's why i'm going to click on it and using some previous token okay that is already an admin of that group okay which group that the same csir notes online okay i'm using the same group because that will again require that user to be admin but i have not that facility or in this telegram web that's why i'm going to use my previous name okay so this is some kind of yeah this one okay so i'm going to use this particular token so here i'm going to copy it and going to paste it okay so yeah this is my token and you have to follow these steps and you will be able to get the token okay so yeah we have successfully connected now what we have to do we have to just save and send this request okay so here i'm going to click on save and send this request and here it is waiting for webhook response now what we have to do we have to send a message on telegram okay so here okay so this is telegram web and here in that group that is csir notes i'm going to type it as and search for it csir okay this one and here going to paste a message that i have already copied and yeah this is the message for the student okay so i'm going to send this message and we'll see whether we receive the response or not okay so click on send and going back to this public connect and here it is waiting and we'll get the response in just two minutes okay so we have got the response very good and here what we have to see we have to just make sure that we have got the details about the message and we have successfully connected pably with telegram bot okay
so here this is the message this is actually quite long but not to worry okay so this is the whole message okay this is the whole message that we want to send to whatsapp now here there is no number visible there is no i can say group or no group id or no group name so how we are going to send it first we have to collect the information of contacts or group for that we are going to use an action application that is chat api to get the contact details and group details okay so here i'm going to click on i'm going to type it as chat api wonderful and here i'm going to add action event as get contacts or group okay so get contacts or group wonderful now we have to connect it for that click on connect now we are connecting pably with chat api in order to get the contact details okay contact or i can say group details so click on connect and going back to chat api for this api url and token now from where we will get this let me just tell you after you have set up or installed your chat api you have successfully scanned the qr code you have authenticated now what you have to do you have to go back to chat api and here you have to copy this url okay so this is the particular url and here the authenticated status must be authenticated okay good now going back to public connect and here i'm going to paste it as this one okay so this is the api url now about the token so token again it was beside it that is this one so just click on Control c and just paste it over here okay so this is done and now i'm going to save the credentials and we have successfully connected chat api with pably in order to get contacts or group details okay so now i'm going to click here as save and send test request okay okay so here all the contacts all the groups will be visible in this in these details or response okay the whole contacts in your mobile so yeah this is some kind of a lindy and a bit of tiresome so what we have to do we have to search for our particular group okay so i'm going to search for it and we'll see what is the id and what is the name of my group okay so for that first we have to add another action window in order to send that particular group message okay so let me just show you before i'm going to add an action window that how can we search for okay so here we can search for it that is okay so this is the particular group in which i want to send the message okay so this is the id and this is the name here what you have to do you can map these details in the down windows okay all the details all the message everything but when it comes to the id group id what you have to do you have to directly copy it because if you map it it is not necessary that always it will come in the same section okay in this particular section it may come in the zero two three four any of these so make sure that you should copy it okay so i'm going back to this plus button and going to click on this and adding another action window here what we are going to now this time we are going to send a message okay so here again i'm going to choose action application as chat api wonderful and this time it is send message okay so yeah send message as action event wonderful now here we have to again connect our chat api with pably in order to send message that time in order to get contacts and this time in order to send message to that selected group okay so here connect okay again the upi credential api credential sorry and here i'm going back to this chat api section and here i'm going to copy this url okay make sure your phone should be connected i'm reminding you again and again and you have to keep that in mind okay so yeah url is done and now the token so the token just beside it actually okay so copy it and paste it over here okay wonderful now click on save and your credentials are saved now 
is taking some kind of time okay so successfully connected here whenever you will get connected these three fields will be visible as we are not sending in a particular contact that's why we are not adding phone number here we are adding the contact or group id enter chat id if you want to send the message in an exist existing contact or a group then you have to add this particular id format okay so this id where is this id let me just show you okay so here in the dialogues one id this is the id okay that i'm going to copy and going to paste it in this contact or group section okay here is the option of mapping the data but we are avoiding in this avoiding it this time because we can't map the same thing because every time the id will be in different section according to your groups according to your contacts okay so just closing it wonderful now i'm scrolling it down and i'm going to add the message okay i'm not bothering the phone number because i want to send in a group okay so here we will not be requiring contact numbers so here message is what is the message so this is the message okay so this is the text message is done and here i'm going to click on save and send test request okay save and send test request okay so we have sent the message and let me just check whether we received it on whatsapp or not that means sent yes message this one and id true and this is number okay so this is showing that successfully it is sent so i'm going back to this whatsapp and we'll see okay so here we have received this message and this is exactly the same Okay, so that's how we have successfully connected Telegram with WhatsApp. Okay, now going back to public connect window and here going to minimize these windows. Okay. And I'm going to summarize it very clearly. Okay, so here what we have done basically. Firstly, we have connected Telegram bot with Pabli, then Pabli with chat API in order to get contacts or group details and then Pabli with chat API in order to send message. Okay, so we have used chat, chat API as a third party application to send WhatsApp messages. Okay, so that's how we have built a connection and it is very successful. Okay, so I hope you found the video helpful. If you really like it, please like share and subscribe the channel and if you have any queries please visit pabli.com p a b b l y.com pabli.com and you can create your free account there our team will definitely help you so thank you so much for watching have a nice day